So people have asked um, lately about what's in shotgun range bags. So I thought I'd do a little video about what's in mine. This is basically how I pick it up from where it's stored after the shoot. So we'll just see. First thing is would be your certificate. I won't open it up because it's got details in it. But that's basically the certificate. So that would be the first thing. Can't go anywhere without your certificate because you need it because you've got weapons on you. Second thing would be a decent pair of earmuffs. These are the ones I use, Peltor. Uh, good quality earmuffs. Second then is a hat. I normally wear a flat cap, but this is if we bring someone else with us as well. Uh, we've got a flat cap to, to give to someone else. And then if you go on the high tower ranges, you, you need glasses. So these are industrial safety glasses. Uh, pay for myself and pay for, if we bring it, as I say, someone else along with us. We someone, sometimes bring my nephew or friends and that type of thing. So that's for them as well. I always bring spares. Set of binoculars. Uh, you're in the range, you're in the countryside. So it's nice to sometimes you might spot something. So you just uh, you get your binoculars out and have a little nose at something. So that's them there as well. Spear, spear earplugs. Although you've got your earmuffs anyway, uh, I'd like to have a couple of spares. You never know. You just you might lose them or whatever. So best to be safe than sorry. Uh, another spare set of earplugs, just as I say, just in case we bring someone with us. These are just easily foldable ones. These are Peltors as well. I think Peltors make the best earmuffs ear personally for um, police, Ministry of Defence, civilian, I think uh, industrial. So Peltors are good. Uh, oh, yeah. Leatherman. Always carry a Leatherman. Uh, that gets you out of all sorts of problems that, I don't know, something might come loose on, I have various guns with screws and what have you on. Uh, I looked into the blade length, this is 2.75, which is uh, less than 3 inches, so which is uh, legal to carry, uh, obviously with, uh, with a good reason, so uh, I would say going shooting and would be good reason, so that complies, that just lives in there. Uh, some more ear plugs, more ear plugs. Oh, chokes, yeah. Spare me spare Teague chokes for me browning. Uh, I'm quite happy with what the setup I've got. That was the standard Invector choke, and then I changed them for the Teague chokes with the with the key. Obviously, you need the key for tightening up and for loosening off. So. It's good to have your teak chokes with you. They come in a nice little package as well, so it's easy to uh, store. A pack of my uh, decelerator book pad. Uh, I like to use this every now and again, depending on what sort of rifle I've got, what, what shotgun I'm using with me. It gives, it gives some of the lops, the length of poles are slightly variating on my guns, so uh, this goes gives me an extra inch or so. so and it just slips on. It's a medium size one. This one, this one's a large. Uh, I've got a medium as well, and that goes on most of the butt pads, on most of the butts, and uh, gives you an extra bit of length of pull. That was an in, inflector. Goes in your shoulder on me, uh, me musto ski jacket, but I don't really use that. Gloves. Uh, I tend to use gloves, especially in the winter. Uh, fingerless gloves, browning. I like brown stuff. I'm into my brownings. Suede gloves, open fingertip. Uh, I've had these for years actually. They last really well, so if you have to pair the gloves, I'd recommend them. Another set of spare earplugs. A little first aid kit. You never know. Set of gloves and the uh, pressure pad. For an open wound. I mean, it's not the biggest first aid kit, but if worse things worse happen, you can supply some pressure to an open wound until professional help gets there. 
as I said on my first day course, I'm not the person who's going to save the person's life. I'm just there to do the best I can till the professionals arrive. So that's what I was taught on my first day course. I'm not an expert. I just try and do the best you can. So with limited resources generally. So that's basically what I use. And then most importantly, range etiquette. You have to pick up your cartridges after you shot them. It's just not the dumb thing to just leave your, especially if you're using a semi-auto or a pump action, they fly out everywhere. So you pick up after yourself. And all this is, you can buy super duper ones with big magnets on the end for like 20, 30 quid, something ridiculous prices. This is a pound one out of a pound shop for my home mechanics use. And you know what, I can pick about five or six rounds up at each time with this. So it just lives in my bag. You go down, pick up your range, pick up your rounds. There you go. Put them in the bin and you've done your bit for range etiquette. Ready for the next chap to come and use the range. So that's generally what I carry. A little uh, clasp for odd bits and pieces. You never know. You see these little things that you sort of carry. That's generally in the main bag. And then underneath in the ammo section, I'd have a full, full leather belt of ammo and also my boxes generally carry 250 in this section here so i'll have my belt on which carry 25 plus 250 so 275 in total whether i've used that and generally not maybe 100 150 on an average shoot but there's a fair bit of weight in there when she got two when she got a slab of uh, cartridges in there as, as that's commonly known but this is a nice belt though i had a um, this is handmade in England, this one. Had this specially made. It's got uh, like a little bead underneath it as well. That the cartridges sit, sit on. They can't go any further. And it's all very good quality leather. Finley's hand crafted. So if you're after a decent belt, I would definitely give them a look. So that lives in there. So that's generally what I'd carry in my range bag. So we'll stick it all back. So bits and bobs, magnet, first aid kit, gloves, deflector, cheek chokes, leatherman, binoculars. binoculars, spare pair of muffs, spare pair of glasses, more, more, more earplugs, deflected book bag, spare cap for anybody else, some more book plugs, book earplugs, book plugs, fucking <laughs> okay, hell, book plugs. Uh, and uh, obviously this doesn't live in here, this goes into a safe at home when I'm not using it, me certificate, but for purposes of going to the range you have to have it on you. Otherwise, you can't prove that you're legally carrying your firearms. This is a brown and range bag as well. I've had this for years and it seems to be lasting really well. I'd recommend this. Like I say, I like brown and stuff. I'm a, I'm a browning man. So, that's my kit. Hope you enjoyed that.